What's up everyone, this is your boy Rob Store from Off Topic Gaming. Now today, I'm showing you my gaming library. Now, my gaming library is nothing spectacular, it's nothing, you know, whatever. But I'm just curious to see what games you have. Now I do, now I am rocking a 5 terabyte hard drive, which I brought from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below to show you. I mean, it's, I think I basically paid like 129 for it. I got a 5 terabyte, it's on um, Stargate. And it's see so I'll get yeah so I'll get hard drive if I'm not mistaken and it's pr pretty you no know, pretty good so I'm rocking that my external internal hard drive I basically have nothing on it so it's just some apps I think I have on that one so all the all the games is mainly on the external all right so let's get back to okay yeah, so the recent games have been added to so I play a lot of Destiny so Destiny will be first and foremost and then I have this is not the digital version this is the disc version the disc never actually leave the game console because most of the games I do have going forward is digital because I have two Xboxes I like to share between both of them if I, and something that's happening alright I like to share between both of them so I have Destiny I have World of Tanks which I played a couple of times I used to play this a lot on 360 back in the day Spike Battleground of the Gods. I played this like once or twice. I really couldn't get into it because you know I would focus on going back to play Destiny for some reason. Um, I also have the Dare God, which I never played. I just downloaded and I heard it was, it was okay, so it was pretty decent. So I'm actually gonna give let's try it out one weekend. Let's go through it. Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. I just finished downloading this game. And maybe go, maybe I won't do a uh, video. I'll probably do um, a live stream of this. Cause it'll probably be easier for me to live stream it than me just put up a million video videos. So if you want to see me that's live stream, um, hit the like button below and tell me um, leave a comment. You see what game you would like for me to live stream. If not, just this game or any game. Madden 16. I think I downloaded the demo of this because it's like I'm gonna play Madden like maybe 30 or 40 times, then I probably won't play it no more. So I just so it gave me eight hours. That's enough for me to play <laughs> a couple of games, you know, online or whatever. So I have the EA vote. If you don't have the vote, I think you should um, get the EA vote. It's very, it's a good, a good deal. You know, you get to play a lot of games um, before other people, and you get to download free trials of the EA games. So Battlefield coming out pretty soon. Hey. You get you get you get Battlefield a week before you know basically, and anybody else. So I have a cam um Hex HD for the Xbox 360. Now you have an Xbox 360, and you had this game. Most likely you had this game free, but it's not in your library. You probably have to go on Xbox.com and go and type Hex Hex HD and search for it, and just re-download it and pop up. If you're in a preview program, that's where you get this cameo. Cameo on um, the Real Replay. I love this game. This was a 360 launch game. And I was actually happy. This is like one of the games I brought the recollection for was Cameo. And I see they updated a lot because it was glitching at first, so I stopped playing it. So now, hopefully, they fix a lot of the bugs that was in it. Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Now, this is what I'm currently playing, and I love Gears of War. A lot of people didn't like it. The reviewers, you know, I read or whatever, and were listening to it, but I love Gears of War. Okay, what they say. If you haven't played Gears of War, you need to, this is the one you need to play. It been updated, whatever you know. Two and three added new features to the game. They took away just the running cover from this game, but just to, just seeing like the the surrounding of it, the atmosphere of Gears of War. Hey, I think you I think you should try this game out if you never played Gears of War. Shadow Complex is another game for Epic, and I'm telling you, if you like the Metro style side scroll them go you have a big old open map they go in the way open puzzles or whatever you're gonna love this game now we're back and play this we played this game like like a three hour stretch and beat it so i, I think anybody can you know you can put in your work you can beat this game in um in one sitting or you could beat it in one weekend so you know i think you should try this game out pool nation fx now i think i played pool nation once or twice it's a pretty decent game so you know I got this through the Xbox free game you know we, we gave you the free games Project Spark I was in a beta Project Spark I played a lot of it and not too much I don't really play too much of it these days so Project Spark had another uh, pinball game FX2 um, Defense Grid Zumba your Killing, Killing Instinct Season 2 which I suck at Killing Instinct but I really loved let the player you know, they just want to be really good at it it's, it's something I strive for so we have um, Geometry Wars Retro Evolve Barrier Block Theater now you see all the 360 game by me being the um, preview program 
Yeah, um, let me download. So I just downloaded Let's Replay them again. Even though I have my X, my 360 next to my Xbox One, I just did it because it's more convenient than anything else. How, survive, how to Survive a Storm Warning Edition. Never played it, but heard good things about it. Forza Horizon 2 Fast and the Furious. Now, you won't, if you're um, a achievement, achievement whore, achievement hunter, um, this is the game you want to play. I think and within two hours, you can, collect, you, can, you can collect all the achievements. So, I really will tell you, hey, check this out. The Long Dark. Now, this is an interesting game. I think I think everybody it's, it's free to download. You know, you, you get like two or three hours, so I think you should really download to give it a try. The Life is Strange. Never played it yet. Had, had the full full episode, all the episodes. I just never got around. I played the beginning part and the demo, and I said, okay, it was it's enough for me to download to buy the game, and I never really got past that. So I'm, I'm actually to sit down one weekend and give it a good try to really get past the first part and get into it. All right, Ville Pinata, Trouble in Paradise. I love that game. We have um, Magic, um, Magic, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. love my train of thought. Magic the Gathering Duels is a card game. Dragon Age Inquisition. This is a, um, a disc, so it's not really. It's, well, all games are saved to the system. Well, this is a disc based game. Perfect Dog Zero, Manager Tui, Ville Pinata. I really love Ville Pinata. Perfect Dog. Jetpack Gemini, well not Jetpack Gemini, Jetpack <laughs> Refill, Banjo Kazooie, Nuts and Boats, and Banjo Kazooie, the Rare Replay, which all ninety percent of the games came from, um, Yu Gi Oh, Legend of Duels, Metal Gear Solid Five, Ground Zero, So Many Me, Shelter is another game I think you really should try. It's it's along the um line of um. The Fallout Shelter um, game is something like that. So I think you really should try that. Elite Elite Dangerous is another game. I think you should try because it's one of the games you're free to play for so many hours and you like it. You get to buy whatever. So I think you should try it out. It took me a while to get used to the controls. And once I got used to the controls, they were pretty front exploring you know, the space. Mass Effect. What can I say? Mass Effect. Everybody knew who Mass Effect is. Batman Arkham Knight, a game I never finished yet, but I'm going to finish. Elder Strolls Online, Minecraft, Never Went Tonight, Killing Instinct Classic, Trial Fusion, Chariot, Lord of Fallen, never even played it yet. Ah, I'm slipping. Killing Instinct 2 Classic, Grand Theft Auto 5. I, I don't know if I bought this version because I had the 360 version. It's for me to play online. I might have played five hours total of online. So, if you want to play online, you leave a message below and we can change Game and Well, you can follow me and leave me a message. My Game and Tape Garage Store. Um, Borderlands 2. Um, Day Rising 3. Love Day Rising. I'm telling you. Microsoft did a good job getting this. Getting, um... Capcom to make to make remake um the game so Dead Rising Three is really good really good. Borderlands a prequel prequel. <laughs> oh Titanfall AKA um uh, Call of Duty Battle of Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Now I play Black Ops Three, but I won't get into that. I have a video of that coming soon. I'm sure I'm sure to check out my opinion, my side by side video of, of this game and why I think this game. It's probably it might it might be better or the same thing. So if you haven't played Titanfall, you should try the EAXS and it's free to download. You get all the DLC, everything. I think you really if you like shooting game, you're really gonna like this game. Halo the Clutch Chief Edition. The Master Chief Edition, not the Clutch Edition. Tale for the Borderland, another game from Telltale that I never finished yet. I think I got to part one or part two and I stopped. Mass Chalice, never played it yet, but I heard good things about it. The Witcher Wild Hunt 3. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now, nah, I played this game. I beat everything on the first map. And for some reason why, I stopped playing it. I don't know why I stopped playing it, but I just stopped playing it. So, I think Prison of Elders came out for Destiny, I think. And I got caught up in that bumble jumble crap. But, you know, I, I, I said I love Destiny. I love Destiny. And I don't know why, but I have all these great games I'm neglecting. Um, Air Mech Arena. Now, nah, this is like... Uh, arena type game and it's I played a few minutes of it but never never really never really went back to it I, I like what I played so far so 
Resident Evil 2 Revelations. I only played the first episode, and I'm like, then went back to it. Because once it came out, like, once again, I got caught up in Destiny. Guacamole, um, I have it on the Vita, so I just downloaded it because it was free from Xbox. Game of Thrones, another Telltale game I didn't finish. I'm on episode three. I think it had four episodes out, so I need to catch up. Goat Simulator. And I brought this game primarily for my nieces and nephews. When they come bothering me, I cut the other Xbox on and put them there. And watch them running around and the goat, laugh at the goat, you know, doing crazy things. It's a safe game, you know, for them to play. So let them play that. Save the key. I played Save the Key on the 360. Loved it. Played Save the Key on the Xbox One. Loved it. Well, I really want to finish it. I'm really going to make an effort to go back and finish this game. I never finished it on 360, but I will on Xbox One, I promise you. Castle Stone, never played it yet, but I will. Worms Battleground, never played it yet, but I will. D4, Dreams, Dark Dreams Don't Die, never played it, but I will. Crimson Dragon, not very interesting. Thought about Crimson Dragon, and have a mixed opinion about it, so I'm just leave it like that. Power Star Golf. Played it and I liked it, but then went back to it. Black Flag, Assassin's Creed for Black Flag. Now, this may be my favorite Assassin's Creed game. I never finished it, but I will. But this is my favorite one. I'm telling you now, if you haven't played, if you won't play any Assassin's Creed game, make sure you play this one. I think two, and this one's the, the best ones. The um, Wolfenstein, the Old Blood. Now, I have Wolfenstein, but I downloaded um, this version too. So, this version is. I never played. How long did I play this? No, I never played this. I never ever played this. I beat the um, original game came out, but I never played this version. So there you have it. Dark Souls Two, Scholar of the First Sin. Now I beat Dark Souls Two. It took me a while, but I beat it. When I beat it, it was very, very satisfying. So for some reason, why I downloaded this version of it, and let me tell you, this shit is ridiculous hard. They have enemy placement in spots where you like, okay, why would they put something there? No one's gonna kill me. And that's what it do kills me. So that's that. All right, we have um, life is planet. I pretty much I think I did a live stream. You can check my Twitch channel of this. I think um, it should be a cover on now. Shovel Knight. Um, I really wanted to get to Shovel Knight. I heard good things about it, and just never could really get all the way into it. Math 15, holla at your boy. You want to match up on Math 15? That's right. Super Time Force is another retro game. Made off a of retro, like Pixar 8 bit game. So I I like it. Pretty, it's pretty good. Assassin's Creed Chronicles. Never played it. Only brought a couple of $5 one day. Some, one more of them. Oh, something cheap. But that's buy right, you know, right there. And I don't know why I do that, but I do that. Um, Slender, The Arrival. I played this game and they freaked me the hell out. Excuse me. I was thinking about it. It freaked me out. I never. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna leave it like that. Let Rayman Legend. I have both physical and digital copy of this, and I think everybody should play Rayman. Sniper Elite Three never played it yet. Assassin's Creed Unity never played it. Costume Quest never played it. ID ID Bar. I played this game online because mainly online, and I got destroyed. I think I played this as a developer. And he destroyed me so bad. <laughs> I never went back to this game. Never ever went back to this game. Um, Vanguard the Viking. This, this is a fr- this, this is a fr- this kind of remind me of a Sega Dreamcast game. You remember like yeah the Nintendo game and the um, Sega games. You could tell which like, which one was which. Like which um, game was a Sega game and which game was a Nintendo game. Well, this screams Sega games all the way. But not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. But it's just, you know it's it's a, it's a that middle of the line thing. Resident Evil. Pego 2, Strike Suit Zero, Halo Spartan, Assault, oh, I had a brain for it, Shadow, Shadow Light, Massacre of the Brotherhood, I think everybody should play that, it's an interesting game, and Strider. Also has some like Battlefield, I, I, I didn't read download, but you know, I probably won't play it. The Call of Duty beta, the Dying Light beta, Gears of War beta, and then the Perfect Dog Zero Pop up. So when you see 360 again, you see all your games pop up here on the side. Warframe is a pretty good um, MMO game. And that's by fitness. 
but this is a boy Rob store. Now I have a nice game collection. Now what games you think I should play? I have played or what games in my collection that I need to finish? Cause I really need to finish a lot of these games. And I know uh, realistically I probably won't finish all of them, but which one you think I should finish? I know I'm gonna finish Batman. I'm gonna finish The Witcher, like the, the, the obvious one. I'm trying to get them finished before Fallout. So which one you think I should finish? You don't forget to um, like and subscribe to the channel, and I catch you in the next video. Peace, guys.